Thank you for your power and your grace. Thank you for your presence. Even for this day, Thursday. Thank you for this month. Thank you for this third week. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the mighty godly power that works in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you all, welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus. We love you so much. Today in brief, the power of God is here to heal, to set free everyone that is bound, to help everybody's life. In the book of John chapter 1, verse 14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth praise the Lord I want to share with you in a gospel that says God is full of grace He's full of grace and of truth. He's got exceeding grace. The Bible has said it is full of grace and truth. He's full of grace and truth. Many people are, are truthful people but are not grace gracious people. Others might be gracious people but are not trustworthy. But Jesus is full of grace. Is full of truth. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Jesus is full of grace. Full of truth. Nobody loves you like Jesus. Nobody has pity on you as Jesus. He is exceedingly good. I have noticed he's very good. Having mercy upon everyone. The one you would think does not deserve mercy. I nature. God is full of mercy. A lady came in one of the congregations here. Her daughter is 11 years. But starting from the age of 7, her daughter, she used to wet her pants. The sphincter muscles could not work anymore. She, she could just pass urine. And I looked at this beautiful girl. And I looked at the mother. The only one that could help the girl was Jesus. They had tried to do everything. The father was running out of cash. And the, the, the girl was going to school but she could just pass out urine any time and how could she perform in the classroom one that was bright in the classroom the mother told me she began to deteriorate when she goes to school she has to guard from taking anything as a drink she was smelling urine. But this Jesus that is full of grace and mercy and compassion. I have seen him compassionate on every kind of person. Another girl was in senior four. She had the same problem. Her problem, she used to wet the bed. But she was in senior four. 
Mukama namu sasira. And God helped this namuonya. girl and she got Naye well. How did she get well? Mukama yamala kusisinga na omwana wobwala owemya kabiri mwebiri. God met a girl that was 22 years of age. Yavayo. She came. Nanga koye. And she was exhausted. Mubwala bwenga azade no mwana. Even she had gotten a baby. Na musumba. And she said, Mfuka kubuliri. I wet the bed so often. Buli chebanga mbokola nchikoze. I have I have done everything they've told me to do. Etu saba. And she, we pray. Yes, Jesus was compassionate on her. And she got well. She got restored. And she stood in the midst of so many people and she testified. Listen. This girl, the senior four girl, that had not talked of her problem. When she heard this other girl's testimony on Sunday, this girl believed God. She lifted up her faith. In this service as we pray, the power of God descended upon her and made her life whole. And she gave it time. And she came in the public. And she testified. Children of God go through so many things. And you just cannot know. Save for these sicknesses that we know. But there are other people going through problems that you can't That when you see them on the outside, you can't know them. And the only one that knows the problem is Jesus. Jesus alone can help this person. Yes. Jesus is full of grace, full of compassion, full of truth. If he says, I have, I have healed you, he will have forgiven you. If he says, I've gotten compassion on you, he will have compassion on you. His mercy is amazing. Verse 16. And of his fullness we have all received and grace for grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwanga okujula kwe fena tuawebwa echisa cheyongera kuchisa. Olwo kujula kubanga yajula echisa. Because he's full of grace. Yajula kusasira. Full of compassion. Wetu kiliza Yesu. When we believe Jesus. Atujuza nafe chisechu. He fills us with that grace too. Atuwa kusasira oko. He gives us that compassion Many times I feel the fullness of this grace. When you hear the sons of men telling you what they're going through. This girl's mother was weeping. She needed Jesus to have compassion on her. She said there is no more money left. The girl has gone back to the village. There is not money left for, for the hospital. My, my daughter is growing. But she wets her pants in it. The one that created her was full of compassion. And we prayed in the name of our Lord Jesus. And the girl was made whole. She was made whole. Matthew 14, 14. Malayo kuminanya kuminanya. Matthew 14, 14. Uh -huh. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude. And he was moved with compassion for them mm -hmm. and healed their sick. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Jesus. He went across. When a multitude saw him cross over to the other side, the Bible teaches, when you read from verse 13, they sojourned on the dry ground. Okay, let's read from 13. When Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a, to a deserted place by himself. But when the multitudes heard it, they followed him on foot to, from the cities. Mm. 14. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude 
and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. Yes, we are Balaba. When Jesus saw him, Ngaboba ise kulukalu, and they had walked on the dry ground. Ngaya ise kumaz. Yet he had used the sea. Buli jolo kunda lo kumaz orusi nuba lumpi oksingo lo kulukalu. Many a times the the sea's shorter route. Bayi pri yake me pri ya Balaba. When he saw them. He had compassion on them. And he healed their sick. And he healed all their sicknesses. When Jesus looks at you, just as he saw the man on, on, on the river, in John chapter 5, when Jesus saw this man, he knew that he had spent a long time on the river. 38 years, he was at the river. And the angel could come to stir up the waters. Another person could jump into the water before he did. The Bible teaches, when Jesus saw him, he had spent a long time And he was compassionate him. And he was compassionate on him. He asked him, do you want to be well? And he said, as soon as I want to jump in, somebody is in the yes, water already. Okay, wait, get, him, get a hold of your mat, stand up and walk. I need such change. God is compassionate. He's full of compassion. I don't know what you're going through today. Whatever situation it is that you're going through, He is here to have compassion on you. He's here to help you. We have a super Sunday service here. Every third Sunday of a month. But in February, God helped out so many people. But there was a girl. She's a doctor. She has just graduated. But her, her stomach was bound. When she goes to the bathroom, she's constipated to the point of bleeding. Now she could only eat on soft food. And she was meant to take only hot water. That even when she wants to use the bathroom, she has to drink warm water. Even her, her tummy muscles were hurting. She was, she was suffering. She's a doctor, remember. In the school, the doctor's school, she was told. She was treated, but nothing was working. When we were in the meeting, the Spirit of God revealed her situation. And she came. The power of God descended on her. That very instant, God had taken the pain away, healed her system. When she went to the bathroom, she was very well. The next day, what she did, she ate some hard food. She ate a chapati. And she ate, she ate a kasoto. And she was well. And she ate more of the food that she did not eat before. And she was well. The last Sunday of February, she came and testified. She said, after a long period of time, I have been suffering. But God was compassionate on me. God is so compassionate. He is so merciful. His mercy, you cannot. You cannot think to understand. He's full of mercies, full of truth. Every word that comes forth from his mouth is truth. Believe in the word he's telling you. Whatever word he says is truth. It is truth. Thursday is a healing service. Two weeks have passed. A woman was brought forth and she's a Muslim woman. They were supporting her to move. She had suffered for a long time. 
three years in affliction, suffering with the back, the bones in the waist, the pelvic bones. The doctors had examined her. And they asserted that, asserted that the last part of the backbone was cracked. And the last examination took 1.2 million shillings. The kidneys were functioning well. The liver was functioning well. Inside she was well. She was a little bit big. Her mother was testifying. It always took four people to clean her up and help her. They did everything they could. Money was spent on her. Her mother is born again. Her mother told her, let me take you to our service. This time she believed and accepted. She came on support. When she sits on the chair, she feels bad. She sat in the service and stood up. When she stands, she has to support herself. Her back, her back was guttered. And a moment came. And the grace of God was here. The power of God was here to heal. And we prayed. The Spirit of God told me, call that lady that is leaning against the wall. And she came forth. And asked her, what is the problem? She, gave, she told me her story. I'm a Muslim woman. But my backbone was cracked. She sleeps after taking pain But she could not respond anymore to the pain Day and night. She was going through pain. She was speaking with great tearing of the eyes. And I told her the only one that can help you is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Because they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We prayed. We prayed. The Spirit of God told me that she must walk in the aisle seven times, going back and forth. She did on her own. Just a little bit. And then she got faster. She got faster. The church was, was making noise. She came back. She took out the gap. She bent. All oh, glory to God. She stood. Ask her, how do you feel? And she said, I feel just a little pain in the pelvic bones. And at the end, the Lord had made her feel. It was Thursday. On Friday, her mother is coming back. Her mother came back and she was ironing. She could not iron her clothes. She could only be turned to one side because of pain. Jesus was compassionate. Is she born again? No, she's not received Christ But Jesus is compassionate. You know what God will use her to bring to Christ. The heart testimony. We bring many to Christ. Yes, why not, sir? Jesus is compassionate. There is compassion tonight. Online, he's helped so many people. Many people have testified. And many are people on the village. Local people have come to the church. I need, sir. He is compassionate. He's compassionate. He's done great things. He is compassionate. A lady was suffering from the kidney for three years. And the other side was getting a palsy. 
Ne vamos ganhar chifa com chico. And she was told it was coming from the from the kidney. Yes or no wait sir. Jesus the compassionate Jesus. Já na dia hoje Sunday. This lady came on Sunday. E Sunday ya semba mumaiso kwa kubiri. The last Sunday of February. E service ya dika saa wa 10 na m. The service begins at 5. Ya ya ku church ne muwala we ku saa mu ndana ekitundu. She came at 3:30 with her daughter. Na linda pa ya ku saa 10 na m. She waited until 5 when the service begins. Ku saa we mu at 7. The service was ending. Yes, Jesus brought her out. Na and healed her. Na Instantly she na no was healed. She sought for the pain. No no she sought for the palsy and she couldn't find it. Yes, Jesus is full of compassion. He is full of compassion. He is full of mercy. If you read Luke chapter 7. Verse 11 through 17. Jesus found a woman. She was a widowed woman and her son had died. Jesus. Verse 13. Let me read one verse. When the Lord saw her, He was compassionate. And he told her, Weep not. When Jesus saw her, He was compassionate. And he said, Weep not. He drew near to the place where they were taking the, the, the boy to be yes, buried. And Jesus gave the boy life again. Yes, I need, sir. Jesus is compassionate. I know, He's full of compassion. There is a lady. Your eye is hurting you. You're suffering with your eye. I see you're a lady. But you are suffering with your eye. That eye is healed right now. In the name of our Lord Jesus. The Son of the Living God. I see in the spiritual world that God is healing people with back aches. People suffering with back aches. Whoever has been suffering with the back, touch your back. The power of God that heals is healing you. He has helped so many. And the people have testified for. God is reaching out to your back. Reaching out to your ribs in the backbone he's healing every part that had been injured he is the healer he is the son of the living God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I welcome the power of Jesus Christ that rose Christ from the dead to descend upon everyone that has been suffering with the back with the rib cage pain let the power of God descend upon you Be healed right now. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Create a new backbone. A new set of ribs. Let all the pain be removed in the name of Jesus. The Son of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. Whoever has been struggling with pain. The pain on the side. It comes and it's like it disappearing. disappear in the name of Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God. Another person, you have a headache. You are doing something. And something. Uh, impacted your head. Since that day, you have a migraine. You've used medication. And it's not working for you. But the doctor of doctors, the Holy Spirit, 
He's meeting your head and refreshing you right now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. There is a young person. You're a young person. You're a young boy. You were told you have a, a prop, like a honey on, on your intestines. You have a problem with your intestines. The Spirit of God is making you whole, restoring your life and your will. Your intestines are going to function well. They will serve you purposely. If you want to have the problem anymore, the problem is being taken away in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Another person, you have a problem with your eyelashes. You feel as if the eyelashes are falling off from the eye into your eyes. But you get it well in the name of our Lord Jesus, Son of the Living God. Another person, when you lift heavy things in your hand, the palm around the wrist, you feel injury, you feel pain. The pain is disappearing. In the name of our Lord Jesus. For another person, your job is a problem. You're struggling with your work. Whoever has been having a problem with your work, I speak to the work of men and women. Boys and girls work. Let the work be restored. Let the storm be removed in Jesus' name. All the situations be removed in the name of Jesus. That in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I send the word of God to restore everyone's job. In the name of our Lord Jesus, the Son of the living God, you are a man. You are contemplating about your wife. You are not in harmony with your wife. But the Lord has seen you. He is hearing your cry. And he is intervening your situation. The situation of your wife is well. Your marriage is being restored in the name of Jesus. Your wife is well. The devil is evil. He's bringing that commotion. But let you be well. Let the enemy leave your marriage. Let the enemy leave your family in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I welcome the spirit of peace. The spirit of peace. The spirit of happiness. In the name of our Lord Jesus. You will touch wherever you are sitting. We pray for everyone that is struggling. Let them be healed. As your word teaches in Psalms 107, verse 20, that you send your word and heal us. I send the word of God upon the sick, the ones in the hospital, the one in the house, everyone, let them send the word of God to reach and touch them, to heal them, to set them free. The pain in the joints, the pain in the knees, the pain in the stomach, the pain in the neck, the pain in the shoulders, the pain in the chest, the pain in the glands. Let all that pain disappear. Let sickle cells disappear. Asthma to disappear. All the sicknesses to disappear pressure to disappear, diabetes to disappear, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we declare the power of God to touch the men, the women, who have been down, to arise, to babies in the womb to grow perfectly in the name of our Lord Jesus. Women that are going to give birth. The time of maternity has come but they are not getting free. Let them be, get, go to labor. To speak healing in every family. family. The blessing of God in every family. family. peace of God in every family. The goodness of the Lord to be revealed in every family. In the name of our Lord Jesus. 
believe. Let it be done. Let it be done. Let it be done. Let it be done. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have never received Christ, Jesus is here. Repeat this word. It says in Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, a person believes with his heart to receive righteousness and decrease with his mouth to receive salvation. Say, O Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. Sit at the right hand of the Father. You came to the earth. Died on the cross. You died and rose again. You are on the right hand of the cross. The blood that was shed for me it is making me clean. That's why I decree today that I am born again. I decree that I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for everyone. 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 Thank you, Lord, for Holy Spirit, fill their lives. Reveal yourself to them in different ways. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, blessing of God be upon you. Wait to hear your testimony. May the Lord bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.